Hello, Postman community. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about how you can automate e-commerce using Postman and BigCommerce. Uh, a little bit about myself. Hi, I'm Ray. I'm a developer advocate here at BigCommerce. Um, a little bit about me. I actually come from a background of automation engineering and backend development. Uh, and I've used Postman extensively in doing different automation testing, um, as well as just trying to uh, create APIs and API schemas. I love learning um, and doing content creation just like this for developers just like you. Uh, and I'm going to be an educator for life. I started out as a teacher um, in my early career, moved to developer, and this is just the uh, synthesis of those two careers coming together. Uh, so if you want to connect with me, you can connect with me on Twitter or LinkedIn uh, using my ha uh, handle Ray E. Thompson. So you might be wondering what in the galaxy is BigCommerce? Uh, BigCommerce is an open SaaS e-commerce platform. Uh, we do an API first approach, meaning when we develop something, we take the opportunity to develop the APIs first. So developers like you can build to our platform. And then we iterate on that and do internal UI or other um, features for our platform. And we have a REST API as well as a GraphQL API. We were founded in 2009, and so far we've grown to over 60,000 stores that are um, serviced worldwide. And we have developers in over 95 countries um, building to our platform, as well as those merchants that are using um, the big commerce storefront. So just so you understand a little bit about what we mean by open SaaS, our open SaaS approach meets the needs of modern developers. So we're not open source uh, and we're not cloud-based. We're somewhere in the middle. You get all of the flexibility of our APIs, um, but you don't have to maintain anything. And that's really where we sit in terms of what open SaaS is. Today, we're gonna to be talking about a few different APIs, but these are our storefront APIs. And in our REST section, we have um, the catalog API, which is consistent of brands, categories, products, um, which is what we're really gonna be focused on here today, summaries um, and variants. And then we also have carts and wish lists that convert to checkout. And on the GraphQL side, you can query for products, product images, variations, um, but it's more about getting the data, whereas the REST API allows you to get and post. And you can find all of this information on developer.bigcommerce.com. So one of the things that I just quickly, briefly want to go over is how you can set up your Postman environment to be optimized for big commerce. So you're going to want to go to the big commerce uh, store that you're working on and get your scopes, uh, get your auth tokens. And you can see here in this little GIF video of me going through getting scopes um, and getting those Big Commerce API authentication tokens. And once you have those from your Big Commerce storefront, you can set them as environment variables. So we have our access token, our client ID, and our client secret. And all of those are set um, utilizing the Postman interface. And this is all test data here. Ah, here we go. Um, so once you have those set, then you can, of course, go into your requests and set those environment variables. Um, and 
Also, you can set your header presets and doing some other things like that. So now that we've set up our environment, um, let's move on to creating those products. And what we're going to use here is our REST API. So the nuts and bolts really are just a simple post request to catalog slash products. Um, you can see here, this is a very simple request. It just requires a name, a price, a weight, a type, and an image. And even the image is optional. And then what we're going to do in the demo that I will play for you is uh, validating the creation using GraphQL. And that looks like this. Um, we have a GraphQL endpoint that you would hit with a post request. And it is just a query of products by an ID. So it is demonstration time. And I will now show you how you can use Postman with BigCommerce. So the first thing that's most important when you're looking at um, doing any APIs to update products or um, do anything in the BigCommerce store is to look at the BigCommerce store. So we're gonna do that now. And what we have here is that we can see my BigCommerce control panel. And this is where my products live. So I should have actually one product created and it's just a basic t-shirt. And this t-shirt has these properties. So it's a basic t-shirt, it's a physical product, it has a default price. And this is how um, the API schema is informed. So when we go to look at the products that we're going to create, in our JSON, these are the same products. Um, we have a basic shirt here. Um, this is the Galaxy shirt, $20. It's in category 28. Um, category is not required, but you can add it. Um, it has a weight, it's a type of physical, and it has an image for the t-shirt. And this is really all you need to create a product inside of BigCommerce. Here I show that you don't need the category, um, but you can include it. And that was a recent development. We have recently updated our API documentation to reflect that you no longer are required to give a product a category. And then we have this product, and this is a what we would call a complex product because it has variants, um, it has SKUs, so you can see different options by SKU. So here, this awesome Galaxy T-shirt, it becomes, um, it comes in different sizes, it comes in different colors, so you can get this color black and small. Um, you can get it in blue and small and all along down the line. And you can even set um, different prices for different SKUs, different weights, etc. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take this JSON and we're going to use it to automatically create our products uh, using Postman. So if I pull up Postman here, um, we can see that I have a create products uh, post, and this post has uh, just one header, and that's the authentication token. Uh, and it requires the store hash, and this is the link to my store. So these products will be created um, using this authentication token to this store. And in our body, I've really just put in a variable because we're going to use all of the JSON data from that um, file inside of VS Code. And if we go to the test section here, this is how I'm actually going to be able to use that variable. So I've created a global variable called create products and it is getting its information 
from that JSON object and it's going to iterate over it using the test runner. And the next piece of that is to validate that the products are created. Um, and to do that, I'm actually going to show you our GraphQL API. So we come to a different endpoint, the slash GraphQL. It is authenticated by a bearer token. And it has this body. So it's a query of product IDs. And it's going to give us the first five. Um, that's just because I don't have more than five products in my store, but you can limit this or not limit it. And it's also going to give us the first 25 variants and the first five options. So this query actually is pretty uh, in depth and this is a standard query. Um, I pulled it literally from our documentation. And the test here is literally just going to iterate through the data that's returned to find if the product name contains Galaxy. And this is just a quick um, test validation that the products are created. So let's go ahead and take a look at this in action. So if we go over to here and go to the test runner, We can say we're going to do it for one iteration. We can choose our file. I want to save the responses because I want to take a look at them and I want to open the console because I want to see if there are any errors that occur. And I'm going to run it. And it looks like everything passed, nothing failed. Um, I do have this 422 here that I can investigate. And it looks like uh, uh, there was a price missing. Um, and so we can see here, here in the console any errors that occur. And if we go back to my big commerce store, and we go back to viewing all products, we can see the products that were created successfully. So we have our basic Galaxy shirt that was already here. We have our Galaxy shirt, our Galaxy shirt two, and we can see from this um, and know from the automation as well that our awesome Galaxy shirt did not get created. Um, and that was due to that price error. Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed this demo. This is all you need to get started with Postman and BigCommerce. So now that you've seen a demo of what you can do with BigCommerce and Postman, uh, we want to invite you to join our community. Uh, we are a community of technologists, and we're helping others um, in an inclusive environment. So if you want to come over and check out Big Commerce, help automate processes for merchants, um, you know, get involved in development of technology and apps, uh, please come join our community at developer.bigcommerce.com uh, or support.bigcommerce.com. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoy the rest of Galaxy Conference. Uh, please reach out if you have any questions. And again, thank you so much. Have a good one. Bye.